All right, let's talk about how we can maximize our paycheck. Well, up until this time, I know you've probably been feeling the squeeze, right? And if you watch the other videos, we've talked through a few different options to help get you going. But one thing that a lot of people often can't see because truth be told, when you, you got all these expenses and debt coming at you, your mind gets clouded. Here's some things I want you to do with your paycheck right now if it's getting, if it's if it's really getting tight for you. Number one, I actually want you to peel back on your 401k contributions. Like, don't put into your 401k. I know you may be missing the match, but the truth be told, you lose your house or you can't put food on your table, that's not gonna be any good for anybody. The second thing I want you to look at is, did you actually get a tax refund this year? If you did, I want you to go and adjust your withholdings, and you may need to speak to your CPA or tax professional to understand what your withholdings need to be so that you can adjust your paycheck for that amount and only withhold what you're properly due for taxes. What that will do is it will add more money from your paycheck every month. And while it may not seem like a, a big deal, but if you're getting two and three thousand dollars a year back, you can use that extra 200 in a month to help get you ahead of this curve. Again, these changes, I want you to really understand. These are just band-aids for this situation to help you get control of your expenses, decrease your debt, and now move on to where you can actually save some money up. Save some money as in cash, emergency fund. So that if you lose a job or if unfortunately life just gets more expensive or you have something come up, you have the cash to buffer your lifestyle. The fact is, not having cash puts you at a big risk for whatever life has to throw at you. And to be for real, life throws a lot all the time. Not having cash makes you more susceptible to all changes that are going on in the economy. Not having cash puts you in a vulnerable financial position that while you don't understand, the average car repair could be $700 to $1,000 right now. And that's just, we're talking about brake pads or necessary things like tires, things that you normally change out. These are things I want you to be considerate of because this is the essential part because this moment right now will be the last moment for you if you've been following through this thing. Now, on the other side of this, let's talk about the process. The process is actually pretty hard. The process will make you feel like you're not um, being the optimal family person meaning as a parent, because you're not providing for them, but you are, you're doing it in such a different way now that you may not be a good partner. You may not see that boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, or spouse, but you are because you're creating a space and you're creating a financial situation that will allow you guys to have more time than you ever thought possible. It will cause you to second guess a lot of things, but in this time, I want you to look at, read, Things that have to do with personal finances, budgeting, credit, investing, index fund. These are all things you need to be loading up into your ears and turn off the radio. If you do that, it will help you put the information with the application of what you're doing in your household by getting rid of your budget, by getting your budget tight and increasing your income. It will help you be more fiscally aware that you'll understand what you need to be doing and how you need to be thinking for your financial planning in the future. No, I'm not trying to help you build a legacy plan right now. If you're feeling the squeeze, I'm trying to help you solve a problem. Once you solve the problem and get to st stability, stability means you're now building up cash in the bank. And now you have a buffer between you and financial problems. Won't mean problems won't show up. Oh, there'll be problems. But the financial ones, you can take care of with a lot more ease. These are things that you have to do to help build the skill of your personal finance. And the reason why I say that is because it is a skill. It takes the application. It helps you understand, how do I apply my math? How do I apply my unit measure, my, minute, my measure of unit? How do I apply to actually get this investing ball rolling? Because invest, investing, while it might have been a nice to have before, it's a necessity now. I want you to understand these things because these are all the things that I did to equip myself. And unfortunately, and fortunately for me, I worked in a bank to where I was immersed all around me. 
but you may not be working in the bank. And while I'm your friend through media or personal, I'm willing to help you any which way it can. But you, I do understand there's a process where you have to develop the mind, your financial intelligence, so that you can make and assess these situations as they come so you know what your options are. These, this is the time to do that because you didn't know any options before, which is what landed you in this situation now. And quite frankly, you might have got caught off guard. But I want to let you know, even if you're not following news, even if you're not watching CNBC, you can still be way ahead in your finances. That's not necessary. You need to understand how to apply the information and what information you need to be consistent with so that you can stay ahead of the game. The whole part of this is if you're feeling the squeeze, you can do something now. I don't want you to un look at things like, hey, you're right. Inflation may, may be causing an issue. Your job wages may not increase. Could be the president's fault. Whatever the case you're looking at, all those factors may or may not. I'm not here to disagree or even pro put one above the other. What I'm saying is. If you could change one of those factors, you personally, then do that. The fact is you can't. And I want you to understand and forgive yourself that, hey, I made some choices. This is where I am now. But guess what? I can change it. You can change it tomorrow. You can change it today. And I want you to change it now. Hi, my name is Jonathan. Let's help you build wealth. You deserve it. Follow me for more.